they're not sample based, it's actually modeling, uh, which means you can really, really fine tune the sounds and so on. Put some claps in there. Make it a bit old school. So this, what we're listening to there is a TR909 kick, uh, kit. So we can change, of course, and have a TR-808, which is the sort of more mellow one, which sounds like this. And of course, you can combine your kits as well. You can have, you know, if I want a, a 10909 kick on this kit, just use a 909 kick, and I can choose a, a 707 snare, and so on. So you can just make, basically make your own drum kits that way. Uh, we can listen to another kit, uh, so we've heard 808, 909, and here we have the, the 7x7 expansion. So this is really like, uh, uh, really sort of 80s pop music, but still used in basically any style of music again. Um, these are actually sampled sounds, but they're really lo-fi and have a certain charm, uh, so it just has that crisp that no other, other drum machine has. So, and that's the 707 kit, and lastly, we also have the 727, which is, I don't know if you're into salsa or something, it might be useful. Uh, so this is the Latin percussion module. And uh, lastly, the 606. So again, I can, I can easily edit the levels. You know, I have a mixer here on board. I can change everything like this. We can tweak the snare, make it more snappy, tune it. We can add compression as well and then just drop the beat back in. Uh, but something that makes a TR-8 also very unique is not only all, all of these famous Roland sounds, but actually uh, we have some effects in here that are quite interesting because they're actually step sequenceable effects. So it's not just like putting a reverb on, on the entire snare uh, or kick and so on, but you can actually put it on separate steps. So if I choose the reverb here as an instrument, basically, so instead of choosing kick or snare, I just choose reverb and I can put the reverb uh, on step 13. So that's going to sound hopefully like this. the reverb on that particular uh, snare hit. And I can put it on number one. So that makes the beat sort of more punchy and just bigger on that particular step. Uh, so that's the reverb. Uh, we have a delay section which essentially does the same as well, but with a delay. Uh, but it also has some, has some hidden effects like uh, bit crush and flanger and stuff like that. So there, there's a whole bunch of cool effects inside. And we even have an external input, so you can put you know anything uh, like a, a TB03 or basically any line signal. You can put you can put an iPod in if you want or an iPhone. Uh, anything with a line signal you can put in there. You can even put side chain compression on uh, the input as well. So you can have fun experimenting with that too. Um, so um, lastly, we have something called the scatter effect. So the scatter effect is something we have uh, pretty much in all the Iris series. It's like an interactive um, sort of beat repeat kind of thing, which basically means it takes the pattern that's playing and chops it up in little bits and samples it. And then it like sort of rearranges everything uh, in different ways and adds uh, bit crusher and, and filters and reversing and stuff. So uh, again, if we listen to this beat, I can activate the scatter effect just by doing this. Then I can turn it up. not Aphex Twin, uh, you can also find some other use for it, <laughs> I think. Uh, so, um, basically that's that's what the TR-8 does. So really, really easy to program a drum machine with built-in effects, built-in audio interface. Oh, the audio interface has actually 14 separate outputs. 
so you can get the kick and the snare and the clap and, and the hi hat. Everything uh, it, it records uh, separate separately if you want to. Or you can just record the master out, of course. Uh, so built-in audio interface is actually 96 kilohertz, so really high sound quality as well. All of the knobs and faders uh, <coughs> on the entire series, all of the knobs and faders send and receive control change messages, so you can use it as a MIDI controller for Ableton or, you know. Uh, Anything basically. So uh, that's the tier eight, and uh